Well, indeed, this is so cool because this is not something that we see every day. And I'm super excited that we spotted it. One, because it's awesome, because you don't see it very often. And two, because Seb is highly allergic and we were about to hit that with the vehicle, which would have not gone well. And so I'm quite glad that Seb is actually alive and with us and we haven't irritated a whole hive of bees. And so these bees are building their hive on the base of this quarry. And it's probably because of how thick it is in here. There's very little disturbance in this area. So these bees can go about their business without being disturbed at all and they can manufacture their hide from I mean their hive not their hide from the branch itself and come down but look at that isn't that cool now we don't get to see this every day at all these bees are the most insane animals and the fact of the matter is bees are actually becoming rarer and rarer and rarer which is a huge problem for us in the world ultimately all of us across the world need to be very concerned at the fact that the bee numbers are declining because bees are responsible for massive amounts of pollination of huge portions of our food and they reckon that if bees go extinct pretty much humans will go extinct too because the pollination of many plants will stop and will be in dire straits then so it really is cool to see hives like this and hopefully these kind of things will last longer now what we do know is that a hive like this would be attracting all kinds of animals that would want to feed off this particularly a honey badger and you'll find that there's a bird out here called a honey guide and the honey guides will often try and guide you to the hive itself in hope that you will try and get into it and then be able to break it open for them to get some food now I'm going to try and get a picture of the honey guide quickly so that we can all see what that is and then the honey badger will actually follow the honey guides from time to time to find these bees So Umka, you wondering if these are killer bees? Well, Brent and Byron, I mean Brian, no, they're not them, but I'm joking. So earlier, Brent and uh, Brian, who was a cameraman, used to call themselves the killer bees. So we're just joking around a little bit, but um, they are not killer bees. These are African bees. And so the killer bee tag came from the fact that there was African bees sent over to the south americas and those bees themselves were very very aggressive and they used to sting in mass hives like this so lots of stings together which was enough to kill people a single bee on its own is not going to kill you unless you are highly allergic to it and so that's where that comes from but these are african bees yes these are the very same ones that are referred to as killer bees in other parts of the world now the honey guides that i was talking about are these guys so they're really cool birds and we actually do see them here we see this greater honey guide probably the most out of all of them and it's got a very cool call that sounds like he's saying Victor so it goes something like that that wasn't very good but something along those lines so we see that guy and then we will also see this lesser honey guide over here which is the one on the right hand side so both greater and lesser honey guides and both of them will then try and as the name suggests guide to honey to be able to then find the food that and hope that either us as humans or the honey badger will break that open and leave some food for these guys to eat it very cool though wow that's a special sighting that's not something we're gonna see every day and like I say I'm super glad that I didn't actually kill Seb in the process 